my perception of the outside looking in, here's what I keep thinking about. Okay, I hear and I think about this every every day almost. It comes up, seriously, and that's not an exaggeration. Every day in this country, there is 10,000 people turning 65. How crazy is that? Okay, so I don't know if you guys, I, I got my you know, college degree. And they remember, I remember seeing these population charts. Have you ever seen those? Had the, the, and then what was there? A big gigantic bulge on the baby boomers. Yeah. Okay. Well, the baby boomers are retiring. They're coming of life insurance age in terms of turning 65, Medicare age. They're, they're starting these long-term care. It's starting to be ridiculous. They still have home and auto insurance like anybody, you know? Okay. So there's just this huge opportunity, like economically on a macro scale. And I'm just, like there's just so much opportunity. So, you know, whenever we, we've got some of these guys that we work with that are early 20s making 200, 300 grand a year. And I mean, I love these guys, mm-hmm. but like they ain't freaking, they don't have a bunch of special sauce necessarily. It's just they have opportunity and they have hustle. Yeah. I mean, you yeah, know what I mean? They, yeah they, they know what to do when they get in front of, how, how to get in front of someone. They use our marketing. They know what to say when they get in front of someone and they just work. Like my point is, is that, you know, not to take anything away from these guys. But, like, I didn't think it was possible for a 22-year-old guy that doesn't have a college degree to be making multiple six figures. Yeah. And that is just an indication of the industry. Yeah. Right? It's kind of ridiculous. The, I truly believe that there isn't a better industry on planet Earth. I just Right now, that. especially. Especially right now. My gosh. Well, and we got done with 8%. Um, and one of the things that um, I was talking to your dad about, who does Medicare, he said, you know, specifically word for word, you know, we've got we've got like five years of like prime Medicare time. You know, why do you think that? It, why do you think he said that? You know, is it just the population deal, or is there? Yeah, it's over the next it? five years. There's like more people turning sixty-five than like ever in you know in the history of our country. It's just insane. And then you look back, and, and you don't want to look look up in five, ten years and like regret the gold rush. Yeah. You know, per se. Yeah. Well, I was talking to one of my clients last night at like nine o'clock because he's like a friend of mine and we we're just kind of bouncing back and forth and talking about mortgage protection and some other things. And we were just kind of like talking through this whole deal where it's like, you know, now is the, I was thinking like, it, dare I say, this may be a bold statement, but it's like once in a lifetime opportunity right now, you know? And so I'm on the marketing side. And so, you know, the target from the marketing to try and reach turning 65 or, you know, Medicare, you know, type clients, um, it's really like easier than what I was expecting mm-hmm. because the target's so dang large. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so it's like our Medicare clients. Well, um, everybody's always said it was like the toughest bullseye to hit and that, you, you know, there are people, people, people paying $75 for like, you know, good Medicare leads, you know, and stuff like this. Like we hear all this stuff. Yeah. And, and, and we're just, I mean, for call centers, agents, agencies, we're freaking crushing it. It's crazy. I've got a campaign right now. Can I say numbers you think or no? Dude, I mean, I can't ask the audience because we're in a live podcast, but I'm good with it. Okay, so I have I have a, cl- a client that needs, uh, I mean, he needs like 2,000 leads a day, okay? Wow. And we're, 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 we're not there yet um, in terms of the volume because we haven't quite scaled yet, but we're, yeah. we're only in 11 states. And I looked at our lead cost. We've got like a bunch of A-B tests going on. And we are at like $5.72 a lead across the country in 11 states and we started the campaign you know a couple months ago like no big deal but like wow and I, we are going to get to a couple thousand a day oh yeah, for sure and it's like what yeah you know what i mean like it's just kind of like mind-boggling that there's this many people and these are people raising their hand opting in these aren't like opening up the iphone and like playing bejeweled and like accidentally right. thumbing the i want medicare yeah yeah you know these are like legit yeah. opt-in in fact he he told me, I can say this because I don't. We, we're not talking about the client. Once he gets the person on the phone, their call center is a 50% close rate. Wow. 50%. He said his challenge is getting them on the phone yeah. in the first part. And he said w- because his dialer was automated, he was only calling every four hours. So he was only to call, he was only, because of the volume, he was only, only able to call once a day. So what he did is, is he said, okay, I'm going to adjust my dialer. Instead of driving these leads straight into my uh, openers, I'm going to drive them to the marketing people to qualify. And then I'm have them call three times a day, one email, one text. The next day, three times a day, one email, one text. Because if we can get them on the phone, we're mm-hmm. at a fifty percent close rate. 